Right, so this is a simple ingrown toenail removal and what you can see we're doing here is freeing up the nail border of this patient that had a chronic ingrown toenail. A lot of people get these, they don't do anything about them. This particular patient waited long enough and we decided to perform what's called a matrixectomy and that prevents the toenail from coming back. So if you've ever had one of these, this is how we do it. We use a freer to first start the process, to free up the toenail after that's done. We'll use a nail nipper to just cut the corner of the toenail that we're going to then completely cut out. And after we start that cut, so what we're doing here is just determining where we're going to start it. And after we start it, we use a chisel blade to then cut all the way back under the cuticle area. So most people don't realize the cuticle is called the eponychium. And when you get your pedicures done, you don't want to push this back because that is actually disrupting the roof of your house and water can get in and destruct the house, which is the underlying part of your toenail, which could lead to fungus. So don't interfere with your cuticles. The next step after we've cut it with that chisel blade is to remove the ingrown toenail. You'll see we're using some hemostats here and we pull it and it comes all the way out. We want to make sure we got it all. Sometimes there'll be some debris that's remaining. That's what you can see we're doing here is removing some of that debris manually with our gauze. And if we can't get it all manually, we'll use an instrument called a curette, which sometimes my staff refers to as a melon baller because it kind of looks like a melon ball device that we use to cut watermelons or cantaloupe with. And now you can see we're putting in the chemical called phenol and this chemical will destruct the cells that grow the toenail and prevent it from coming back.